all right people good evening i'm starting to prep everything for the ceviche and the caldo de mariscos we're gonna do tomorrow and of course i gotta get the um the fish marinated with the limes tonight so they'll be ready for tomorrow we got the shrimp right here i'm gonna go ahead and um deshell the shrimp take the shells off and i'm gonna rinse the shells off really good and they're gonna go with the heads of the catfish i caught here's the catfish heads and the little elbows right here what you call them they're going to be go for the broth along with the shells of the shrimp for the soup okay and then what we have here those are the pieces of catfish that are going to go in the soup and i think we might put maybe one fillet in there and some whiting or some tilapia i got some some of that in the freezer for the soup and i got you know we're going to pick that up as far as all the vegetables and stuff because we got the a lot of vegetables here, but some are gonna go for the mangoes. Are gonna go for the for the um, ceviche, or or the seafood cocktail, and the chayote, which is a that's gonna go along with potatoes and carrots with a soup. So and the jicama is gonna go with the shrimp cocktail, and of course they both require lemon lime. Lime is gonna we're gonna use that to cook the um, the fish. Okay, we got avocados and. And we got some squid here. The squid's going to go in both. But not everybody likes squid and octopus. We got octopus right here that's already kind of cooked, but it's still kind of rubbery. I got to um, boil that real good, make it nice and tender so it can go into the, the cocktail. And also into the soup. But um, I got to clean those squid. I'm not going to use all that squid. Some of that squid's going to go, uh, probably, I'm probably going to grill it because it's really nice. I'll probably grill some later, put it away. Maybe use a few, a few pieces for bake when I go fishing. Or I'm going to separate all that. I'm going to cut it up, take all the skin off, clean it, I'll flip it inside out, and chop it up into rings. And use the tentacles. And, you know, there's a, way, a process i got to do that to work that up. And um, pretty much I'm going to start working that tonight and get the ceviche marinated with the lemon and the seasoning. I'll pick it up right then and there, but right before I put it up in the freezer for tomorrow. Okay, what you see here is a, this is a fillet, it's all cut up into pretty good little chunks. Um, they're pretty good little size little chunks, okay, like half an inch by half an inch, some are about a quarter inch. Most of them are pretty consistent, pretty good little chunks. And you, when you make ceviche, you got to use a firm fish. You can't use trout or um, salmon or anything like that. It's got to be either redfish or black drum or you um, can't use tuna, but, you know, you can use... Um, a firm fish, a whiting, or something that's gonna stay together. It doesn't really get mushy up, mushed up, or whatever. So it's gotta be a pretty firm fish. Catfish is pretty firm. Tilapia, that's borderline. You gotta not marinate it with the lemon too long. It, it'll work, but it um it does it does get kind of mushy if you let, if you let it marinate overnight. Fishes that are more firm, they gotta marinate overnight. And what you do first thing in the morning, I dump all the juice out of the lemon that way it doesn't overcook that way we'll eat it later on in the afternoon and we're going to make the soup for tonight so um we'll pick it up from there i think i got one more filet i gotta cut up right there and that'll be it we'll pick it up again okay um what i've i've already cut the meat up and i have it in here and i've already put um about seven limes in here i've done squeeze them all it really helps when you have a lime squeezer because it's um, go through them. You squeeze as much juice you can on them. They're so expensive. I also put two tangerines in there. It doesn't matter. The citrus cooks the fish, okay? So it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to put mango. We're going to put a good ripe mango when we do the when we do the cocktail anyway. So it's going to give it a little sweet tang. So it's going to be good. And besides, once this is cooked down, we're going to drain it all really good. Let it drain and we'll put fresh lime in there again. And right now to season it off, I'm going to use a Cavender's Greek seasoning. It's got pepper, everything in there, little essence and stuff. A little bit of that. I'm going to put a little bit of the, the Venado Lemon Herb. Okay? Lemon butter. It's, in, it's lemon, herb, and butter. Okay, put a little bit of that in there. It's got a lot, of, a lot of seasoning. That's good. And get that stirred up. Really good. And, uh, and that's it. You let the 
bit of trizzle laid in there. Smash it down really good. And that's going to be it. Okay. So that's about it right there. Okay, what I've done, I've already, um, I got all the, all the shrimp peeled out right here. What you have here is three pounds. I got to clean that off real good. I got to devein the, um, the shrimp. What I like to do is just put a little cut through it right here. And you see that little, that little black vein in there? When I rinse it off real good, I'm going to do each one of those and rinse it off real good and put it in a, in a Tupperware and drain it and get up, try to get as much of those little veins out, those little whiskers here. And that's three pounds right there. What I did on, if you actually that's fifteen dollars worth. That's um five dollars a pound, three point seven pounds. And this is um fish um shrimp from Ecuador. Okay, so I try to stay away from farm raised shrimp, um, either Gulf shrimp, which is a little more expensive, but fish from Ecuador. I don't know if it's farmed or not, but it feels safer than anything from Asia. Okay, and I have all the shells here. I'm gonna rinse the shells off really good, drain them, rinse them and drain them, and this is gonna be the stock for my uh, for my shrimp soup. I already got some right here, already rinsed with the heads right here. I'll put the rest of this in here. And um, I do the same thing for my gumbo. This is the way I make my gumbo stock with the shrimp, okay, with the shrimp shells, okay? And then also put chicken bouillon and all that. But that's going to be another show. That's a that's a whole day event right there, making gumbo, let me tell you. But um, anyway, I'm get, I've got to clean up here. i got to work on the squid and the octopus, and, um, and that's it, work on the shrimp. And get that in the refrigerator and I'm gonna call it a night for tonight but um that's pretty much it for right now okay let me show you what we got we got the shells right here with the fish heads right here all rinsed off really good when you rinse them off you got to squeeze them and squeeze all that color and dump it out dump it out dump it out until it's a little clear that means you rinse it out real good all the insides of the shell but it's still a lot of flavor in those shells when you boil them down along with the heads and all this is going to be boiled down to a stock then it'll be thrown away discarded and when i discard all this everything i make sure i take this trash bag with me and i go dump it somewhere else you don't want to put none of this stuff in your in your trash because um talk about flies maggots smell real quick real quick here's your shrimp already it looks nice and white i already did the same thing rinsed them and shook them up real good got all as much of the little veins i can get out and did it all real good and and i got them um, it's real important that you do not season the shrimp. Do not just put it in there like that. Do not put salt, anything, because this is very delicate and it gets really mushy and and it'll, it'll that's why um some people do the lemon and do the ceviche with the shrimp on the lemon. I've done that before, but I didn't like the texture of it. So I'm gonna just stick to what I do. I just flash boil it, boil it real quick, and then season it with uh, when I boil it and then add it to the the shrimp cocktail. And the shrimp, the fish will be the only one that's going to be cooked with the lemon. Okay, everything else is going to be cooked. And then we're going to add lemon to the all the seasoning and everything. And that's the way we've been doing it. That's the way I do it. Other people do it their way, and that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to get all this packaged up. I still got to work on the squid. Okay, usually I put the, the octopus in the squid. Squid needs to be cleaned out real good, gutted. The eyes need to be taken off. The technicals need to be cut. The skin needs to be pulled off. It needs to be cut into rings. The internals need to be taken out. So there's a lot of process I got to do with that. Some of it's going to stay in the freezer. Some of it's going to go on the grill. Okay. I'm going to grill some of it. So I'm going to put some of it away. I think I might use some of it for bait when I go fishing. I might go fishing next couple of days. I don't know yet. But I do have some bait and I do have some more shrimp. Okay. I'm going to cook some of this down prior because I want to put it in my in my shrimp cocktail and my seafood, my discos cocktail. Nobody else likes it but me. I'm the only one that likes it. In the in the soup, my mom will eat it. She might bypass it. She'll eat a little bit of the soup, a little bit of the fish probably. But that's about it. As far as the soup, I'm the only one that's going to eat it. I'm going to eat it for the next three or four days. Okay? I'm going to make that much. It's not going to be that much. It'll be one potato, one chayote. One chayote, one potato, one bell pepper, one onion, um, like two carrots. And, and that's about it. So two sticks of celery and mostly fish and... And sure, we're, we're going to pick it up as I make that, okay? So, that's going to be a big day tomorrow. We're going to do a lot of cooking all tomorrow. And then, um, Friday's going to be my fishing day. We'll get this in the refrigerator. And get everything frozen up. Rose is going to make a pico de gallo to go with everything. She's going to help me out. We're going to knock it out. And then we're going to make a... 
I'll, I'll present it to you in different ways. Everybody likes it with more ketchup. Some people like it more Mexican style soupy with the clamato and Louisiana hot sauce and Tabasco. And um, everybody likes it a little bit different. We do tostadas or you do a shrimp cocktail with avocado. And, and it's going to be a base dish. And from there, make it the way you want. Everybody, horseradish. You like horseradish, more hot sauce, more this. Of course, you know what I like, boy. <laughs> That's going to be for me. Anyway. So uh, we'll pick it back up as it goes along right now. I'm just trying to get ahead of the game and get everything out the way. So tomorrow I'll start fresh and I already have an idea how we're going to get it done. And, and we'll be ready. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You know what? I had to show y'all a little bit of something. Let me look at these squids here for Fiesta. Man, this is an excellent squid. I mean... I mean, it was like $6 for all these. I got six squids. I guess a dollar each. But man, this is going to be some good bait. I'm going to go out there and catch me a drum or something with this redfish. I'm going to use a couple of these. I'm going to put away for bait. And um, and of course, I'm going to eat some of these. But let me show you how to cut these up. Okay. Basically, you don't, you don't want the head, the eye and all that. So you kind of go right in front of the eye and cut it. Okay. Then you got to squeeze out the beak. See that? That's the beak right there. Look at that. It's a little chomper right there. It's a little hard. There it is. It's like a like a nail, like a tooth. Anyway, that's it. So basically, clean that out. That's it. It's out of there. This I'm gonna put in. This is gonna go into the soup. Okay. And that's gonna be part of the soup. So I'm gonna put it right here with the catfish nuggets. And uh, what I do. I pull out the the head right here, and this part right here, that's gonna go on a fishing trip. And look what we got here. Okay, we got they got the internal organs. You gotta basically squeeze everything out of there. You don't want to clean it out real good, take all that out, and what I'm gonna do is cut it in slices. I'll probably start it around the back right here. This will, this will go into the soup right there. The little tail fin, it'll shrink up a little bit, and that's gonna be part of the I'll probably just slice it in half see that those two portions that, that those are going to go into the soup i'm going to do the same thing to all these clean them up real good and basically going to have rings i'm going to cut it in rings all this right here i'm going to cook these down i'm going to put some in my ceviche and my shrimp cocktail and then some's going to go to the soup i might throw one more in there and just keep two for bait but um basically that's what i'm doing i just want to go over that with you it's a good quality fish and there's like a the, this skin right here comes off once you start cleaning it you see how it comes off you see how it's coming off right there? When I clean it real good, get all that out of there, all that poop, I'm fixing to cut all this up and get it in, a, in the sink and wash it down real good and peel all that off. I'm gonna wind up with a white um, flesh, the, just the flesh. So I'll come back with you on that once I start. I don't wanna save you the agony and watch me do all that. Okay, here we are in the kitchen again. But um, I wanna go over, this is a finished product after you got to make sure, I already cut them in half and split them and washed them off. You got to inspect them real good because they have this little cartilage in there. You got to get out. I already took most of it out. Here it is right here. It's like a piece of plastic. It's on the edge. Uh, it's like a membrane on the end. But I already got them. I think I got them all off already. This where it was right here. Let's see. Yeah, let's take that off. We don't have one. And inspect it real good. Got them all. Yeah. yeah, right through them all off. Anyway, I got the little tentacles here. Here's the little tentacles. I'm gonna cut these up. They're gonna. I'm gonna boil this down along with the octopus. The octopus. Let me show you a handful of this octopus. Here's the octopus. It's already flash cooked. Okay, it's it cooked, but it's still kind of rubbery. From here, you can put it with garlic sauce and butter. Cook it down real good. It gets real tender. Or it's just boil it. And what I'm gonna do is boil this. And then um, use it for the, the shrimp cocktail. And then we're going to, for the seafood cocktail, and then we're going to save it. I'm going to add it to the soup. So what I'm going to do, like these little pieces here, I'm just going to cut them down like in little strips, like this. Okay. And just, just cut them down in pieces. These right here are going to be rings. Get this stuff off of here. So basically, you just cut them down in rings like this. And they're going to cook down and become a like a ring. And basically, you can fry these or... Or whatever, you know, that's the way you sell them, calamar, you know. It's a lot, sounds a lot better when you call it calamar than squid 
or some people I know call it squib with a B, squib, but it's squid, so calamar. So basically, I'll just cut them in, in rings like this, cut them big, give them in big rings, ring around the rose, right there, <laughs> ring around Rosie. But um, anyway, here it is like this, and these are going to be part of the, I'm going to eat them, you know, and then these big ones here, man, what I really like to do is, I've seen them on TV where they just throw them like this on the grill and grill them like this, and but I don't know about all the insides. See, it's got that a lot of stuff on the inside. I don't, I don't find too appeasing. Or you, they take them out, leave them home. You, they stuff them with rice and shrimp, and put a toothpick through here, and then boil them with olive oil and um, and um, soy sauce, and it'll be like a seafood egg roll. I've seen that done. I've done that before, matter of fact, a long time ago. It's a lot of work, and I, well, I wasn't too satisfied with the outcome, but it was all right. I wouldn't do it again though. Just too much. But either way, when you find a good quality squid like this, there's a lot you can do. Um, and it's, I'm really surprised if guests I had this. Look at this. It's a beautiful squid. The eyes are good. It's a good color. Um, man, I'm really surprised. I'm, they had it back in the frozen section. They had everything there. Uh, frog legs, tuna, uh, mahi mahi. They had a whole section other than what's fresh on the on the display. They had it in the frozen section, but it's it's fresh frozen. It's very. I'm very pleased with this. It's very good. Yeah, like I said, this piece right here, I'm gonna take it fishing, cut it in three pieces, and put it on my my line. Soak my line, and bam, hold on, see what hits. But anyway, let me get this cut up, and I'm probably gonna give it a flash boil or boil it up. I'm getting ready to boil tomorrow morning. First thing I do, boil it up, then put it in the freezer. Start working everything else. I got the shrimp, everything going, and do the and work on it tomorrow. So we'll pick it up. I just wanted to cover that with y'all. And um, these right here, I'll probably just um, split them in half like this. And leave them, leave them like that. Maybe cut the tentacles in half like that when I cook them down. But when you cook them down, they're going to shrink up. So it's going to look really good. I like I like to have the whole thing like that in my soup. Okay, so we'll see how we'll see what we're going to do. But I think I'm good with that. Okay, take it back. We'll, keep, we'll pick it back up.